Hello there, how are you doing? Welcome back to Slam Motion. So guys in today's video, we are going to discuss, here's how Nathan Fillion really felt about Stan at Caddick's exit from Castle. Are you guys excited? So let's get started. So keep up with me till the end, comment right below this video, subscribe if you still haven't, and turn on the post notification for more videos. It is not uncommon for shows to write out major characters and either replace them or take an entirely different direction with their story arcs. If handled correctly, a TV show can survive such drastic changes, perhaps even thrive. This was definitely not the case with ABC's crime drama, Castle in 2016, when they announced that Stan Akatic would not be returning for season 9. This would have likely been a bittersweet pill to swallow for her co-star, Nathan Fillion. The pair were reported to have been feuding, but Caddick's leaving eventually meant that his own stint on the series was cut short. Not only that, but the pair were reported to have had a personal relationship that went beyond the TV show. So how did Nathan really feel about Stannis leaving Castle? Why did Stana Caddick leave Castle? Castle was the brainchild of screenwriter Andrew Marlowe, who famously penned the 1997 smash hit political drama Air Force One starring Harrison Ford. Fillion played the titular character Rit Castle, a mystery novelist who partners with a homicide detective to solve crimes, starting with a copycat murder based on his book series. Caddick portrayed Detective Beckett and earned plenty of accolades for the role. In April 2016, as the series was coming towards the end of what had been a rough season 8 ratings-wise, it was announced that Caddick would be leaving the show. Unfortunately, it seemed that Caddick had not made the decision independently. The actress wasn't the only departure at that point. Also set to exit was fellow main cast member Tamala Jones. Jones had been playing a medical examiner by the name of Dr. Laney Parrish, a close friend of Beckett and often a love interest for Javi Esposito, a member of Beckett's homicide team. After the reported drama though, it seemed that Stana's leaving had some deeper meaning behind it. There were rumors of tension between the two actors. On the surface level, the news of Caddick's impending exit might have been construed as being very good for Fillion. After all, rumors of tension between the two co-stars had already become very rife. This in itself was already threatening to break the show. Viewers had begun to see just how bad things had gotten on set. Inside sources hinted that Caddick and Fillion despised each other. The friction between them was apparently very evident, with the actor often being so nasty towards his colleague that she would retreat to her dressing room to cry. It was even said that at some point, they sought couples therapy to try and work through their issues. It is unlikely that the rumors were completely unfounded, but at the same time, they were also never totally confirmed. More telling might be the public tribute that Fillion paid to Caddick once it became official that her tenure on Castle was up. The Canadian-born star took to his Twitter account to praise Caddick for the work they had done together. Stan has been my partner, and I thank her for creating the character of Beckett, who will live on for all of us, he wrote. Fans felt Nathan Fillion's pain. Fillion even went on to send his best wishes for any of her future endeavors, saying I wish her well and have no doubt she will succeed in everything she pursues. She will be missed. In the comments, fans generally appeared to take his sentiments at face value. Most offered their support, while others simply expressed their dismay at the choice that ABC had made. A few weeks after the actress was shown the door, ABC announced that Castle had in fact reached the end of its own road. That was in May 2016. Years later, Caddick still couldn't put a finger on the network's motivation to send her packing. I'm actually still not clear on the thought process behind the way that it went down, she told Entertainment Weekly in 2018. It hurt, and it was a harsh ending. At the end of the day, only Fillion knows the deep-down truth of his mindset towards all this drama. His public reaction does suggest, though, that he was genuinely sorry to see Caddick go, even if the two never formally made up. So guys, this was all about today's video. Share as much as you can, that really motivates us to create more content for you guys. With this, we end our video. Hope you liked the video. Do hit the like button down there, comment down your views, and do share with more of your friends. See you. Take care.